start story time, I like to sing a song called If You'd Like to Read a Book. This is how it goes. It goes, if you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, say shh. If you'd like to read a book, say shh. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, say shh. Today we're going to read books about fairies and gnomes. And the word gnome is kind of a funny word because it's spelled with a silent letter at the beginning. And what that means is it's the word, the letter, you don't use the sound of the letter. So this is how the word gnome is spelled. It's spelled G N O M E. Now the letter G is the first letter of the word, but it is silent because G normally makes the G sound or the J sound, but the word gnome does not use the G or the J sound. So the, the first letter is silent, so you kind of only hear the N sound, the N, N, gnome. So that is the word gnome. Can you think of any words that rhyme with gnome or that sound like gnome? What about the word the, it's a place, the place you live in, what is that called? It's your what? It's your home. Yeah, your home. So home rhymes with gnome. Can you think of any other words that sound like home and gnome? Hmm. What about the word, there's a, sometimes on the top of a building it has a rounded ceiling. We call that a dome, a dome, yeah. So let's see if there's any other words we can think of that sound like gnome, home, and dome. Hmm. How about there's a word that starts with the F sound, the F sound. It sounds, it's called foam. Foam's another word too. So those are three words that rhyme with gnome. So let's read some books about fairies and gnomes. Before we read our first book, I like to sing a song called Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. So you put your arms up like this, and it goes, Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! No, no, gnome by Ashlyn Anstey. The students at Green Thumb Elementary had been working hard on their garden all year long. Finally, it was almost ready to harvest. Everyone was excited, especially gnome. As the students headed outside, Mr. Waters assigned each of them a task. The kids quickly got to work. Looks like they're watering, some are planting, some are pulling weeds. At first, Gnome was helpful, but then, look, he starts to pull them and he goes a little crazy, he starts pulling out the plants. No, no, gnome. Mr. Waters suggested gnome try something else. Look like he's got the hose. But pretty soon, look what he's doing, playing with the hose. No, no, gnome. Mr. Waters gave Gnome one last chance. All Gnome had to do was stand still and hold the basket for the garden clippings. But Gnome didn't even last one minute. Look what he did. He went all over and made a mess.
Mr. Waters sent Gnome back to the classroom. When the other kids returned, no one said hello. At recess, no one would play with him. And at the end of the day, no one said goodbye. Gnome was blue. How could he show his friends that he was sorry? What's he doing? Looks like he's working hard, planting, building. Hmm, look at the flowers. I think he's trying to help. The next day, Gnome couldn't wait to get back to the garden. The other kids were dreading it. But when they went outside, they were pretty surprised. Oh, oh, no! Look what he did. He made the garden look nice. Looks happy. The students got to work picking their harvest bounty. Gnome was helpful most of the time. Look, he's juggling. And that's the end of No, No, Gnome. We're going to do a little finger play called Two Little Garden Gnomes. It goes like this. You put your two garden gnomes up, and it goes, Two little garden gnomes sitting on a leaf. One named Kurt and one named Keith. Run away, Kurt. Run away, Keith. Come back, Kurt. Come back, Keith. Next, we're going to do a magnetic story up on the board called Five Tiny Gnomes. Five tiny gnomes in little cloth suits. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Wearing funny hats and pointy boots. When the sun has gone to sleep, let's make the sun go down. The gnomes come out to play hide and seek. The first gnome ducked behind an old wooden door. The second gnome one wrestled into the tall grass growing on the forest floor. The third one climbed a tall, tall tree. The fourth one crawled in a log where no one could see. The fifth one hid under a mushroom cap where he decided to take a nap. Five tiny gnomes in little cloth suits wearing funny hats and pointy boots. Once the sun rises up in the sky, the gnomes head home. Oops. Here they all go. And they say goodbye. story I like to sing a song called open shut them and here's how it goes you put your fist up like this and it goes open shut them open shut them give a little clap 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 open shut them open shut them lay them in your lap 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 creep them crawl them creep them crawl them right up to your chin 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 open up your wide mouth but do not let them in alice the fairy by david shannon my name is alice i'm a fairy i'm not a permanent fairy i'm a temporary fairy you have to pass a lot of tests to be a permanent fairy. I have wings so I can fly. I can't fly very high yet, but I can fly really fast. This is my magic wand. 
This is my blanket. Fairies you ma use magic wands to change frogs into princes and things like that. I changed my dad into a horse. One time, my mom made cookies for my dad, so I turned them into mine. I felt bad about the cookies, so I thought I'd whip up a new outfit for my dad. Did I tell you he's the Duke of Morningside Drive? Well, he is. His golden sparkly pants, plaid velvet shirt, purplish pinkish shoes, my favorite color. But clothes weren't were too hard, so I made him a new crown instead. With my magic wand, I can make leaves fall from trees, and I can draw pictures on water. Sometimes I use my wand to disappear, but that's kind of scary. I'd rather use my blanket. Of course, I also have a magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairiest of them all? Well, what do you know? It's me, Alice. Thank you, mirror. Fairy dust is very useful. I use it to turn oatmeal into cake. Casting spells is another important part of being a fairy. Watch me make my dog float on the ceiling. Hocus, pocus, croakin, docus. Howkin, towkin, riggin, falcon. Doggin, floggin, biddle, noggin. Okay, that one needs a little work. But a fairy must be very careful with magic. Once I accidentally turned my white dress into a red one. That made the Duchess so mad she locked me in the tower forever. I got away though. A fairy's life is filled with danger. Broccoli is often poisoned by the wicked Duchess and should never be eaten. Fairies also hate baths. I'd like to turn my bath water into strawberry jello. That would be fun, but I don't know how yet. You have to be a permanent fairy to do tricks like that. They go to advanced fairy school to learn how. I'm supposed to learn how to make clothes, get up off the floor and dance around in line up in the closet. I'm not very good at that though. I'll probably be a temporary fairy forever. And that's the end of Alice the Fairy. Let's do a magnetic story called Five Little Fairies. This is called Five Little Fairies. Let's count the fairies. We have one, two, three, four, five. So our story goes, five little fairies sitting on the floor. One ran away and then there were how many? One, two, three, four. Four little fairies sitting in a tree. One flew away and then there were how many? One, two, three. Three little fairies, how do you do? One went pop, and then there were one, two. Two little fairies lying in the sun. One fell asleep, and then there was how many? One. One little fairy all alone. Say goodbye, it's time to go home. Before our last story, I'd like to sing a song called Bananas Unite. And this is how it goes. We stand up and we start with a big long banana because what we have to do before we have a banana, we peel it. And so it goes, peel bananas, peel, peel bananas, peel bananas, peel, peel bananas. Then we chop bananas, chop, chop bananas, chop bananas, chop, chop bananas. Then we mash bananas, mash, mash bananas. Mash bananas, mash, mash bananas. Then we eat bananas, eat, eat bananas, eat bananas, eat, eat bananas. Then we go bananas. 
How to Trick the Tooth Fairy by Erin Danielle Russell, illustrated by Jennifer Hansen Rowley. Kaylee loved to pull pranks. Prank princess in training. Her favorite holiday is April Fool's Day. Cute as a button, sharp as a tack. Twinkle of mischief. Comfy shoes for creeping. She pulled pranks every day, every night, and even on holidays. Look, she's pulling a prank on Santa. She was always looking for her next unsuspecting victim. Look what she did there. She put toothpaste where the cream for the cookie should go. But was Kaylee the princess of pranks? No, that would be this little trickster. The Tooth Fairy, ruling prank princess, smirky smile, fairy wings for a quick getaway, magical tooth grabber, more tricks in her bag than teeth. But she had no clue whom she was about to meet. Tooth Fairy was expecting to find something small, smooth, and white. Not green with webbed feet. Now, if you prank the Tooth Fairy with a fake frog, you'll get real frogs. And she says, game on. Had Kaylee finally met her mischief-making match? She offered the Tooth Fairy a slice of pie. I'm so, so, so sorry, she says, offering the pie. And if you know anything about fairies, you know they love sweets. The Tooth Fairy dug into her dessert. Suddenly, her mouth was on fire. Now, if you prank the Tooth Fairy with prankster pie, she'll top it with gobs of gooey ice cream. Look, she's having an ice cream fight and Kaylee says, yuck. Kaylee was a mess. She says, pass the sprayer, please. But once the sprayer was in her hands, Kaylee turned it on the tooth fairy. Whoosh. Now, if you prank the Tooth Fairy with a splash of water, she'll make it rain. Cats and dogs, yikes. Storm scared Kaylee. She ran and hid behind a closet door. The Tooth Fairy wanted to out-prank Kaylee, but frightening her wasn't fun at all. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Kaylee sprang out of hiding, surprising the Tooth Fairy with a burst of bubble gum. Gotcha! She shoots it at her. And if you know anything about Tooth Fairies, you know a broken wand means. She says, oops, my wand. Topsy-turvy. Tooth Fairy Trouble. It's a big mess, isn't it? Kaylee and the Tooth Fairy may have been soaked and scared and stunned. But luckily, Kaylee had one more trick up her pajama sleeve. She says, Quick, hand me the sprayer. What are they doing? They're cleaning. This bubblegum fixed my wand. So she used the bubblegum to fix the wand. And so did the Tooth Fairy. And together they cleaned up their mess. See, the animals are going away. Everything's back to normal. 
Now, if you know anything about pranksters and fairies, you know there's room for lots of fairy dust cookies to prank princesses and one new friendship. And that little kid says, I think my tooth is loose. And that's the end of How to Trick the Tooth Fairy. We're gonna play a little game now called Help the Tooth Fairy Find the Tooth. Okay, for this game, we're gonna help the Tooth Fairy here find the tooth. And we have six different pillows. You wanna help me count them? One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's six different colors. Red, yellow, green, blue, pink, and purple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide the tooth under one of the pillows. I want you to close your eyes when I tell you to close your eyes. And then we're gonna see if we can find the tooth under one of the pillows. Okay, everybody close your eyes. Okay, now open your eyes and let's see if we can help the tooth fairy find the tooth. Is the tooth under here? No. What color should we try next? How about blue? Let's try it. Oh, not there. Let's see, what color should we go with next? How about yellow? Nope, not there. Let's see, let's try how about purple? Nope, not there. Hmm. We have red or pink left. What should we try? How about pink? There's the tooth. There we go. So let's put our tooth back and our pillow back and let's try it again. So everybody close your eyes. Okay. Open your eyes. Let's see if we can find the help the tooth fairy find the tooth. What color should we try with? Na try first now. How about let's try pink since it was pink last time. Let's see. Nope, not there. We didn't try red last time. Let's try red. Nope, not there. What should we try next? How about blue? Let's try it. Oh, there it is. There's the tooth. So we can put that back. And the tooth up there and we'll try again. Ready? Let's close your eyes. Let's see if we can get it and find that tooth. Okay, open your eyes. Let's try, let's try purple this time. Let's see. Oh, not there. Hmm, whoops. Which one should we try next? How about yellow? Let's try yellow. Not there. Which one should we try now? Red? Let's try red. Nope, not red. Hmm, how about blue? Let's try blue. Nope, not blue. What do you think? How about pink? Let's try pink. Not pink, so that means it must be under green. Let's try it. There it is, we found the tooth. Good job being helpers to the Tooth Fairy, everybody. Now it's time to say goodbye, and I have a little goodbye saying that we say. It's called, see you later, alligator. This is how it goes. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. And then I have some new lyrics that some of the kids that have been here before might not know, but I found a few fun ones. I have toodaloo, kangaroo. Adios, hippos. You better shake, rattlesnake. Gotta go, buttafalo. Be sweet, parakeet. Gotta truck, baby duck. Adieu, cockatoo. Gotta scat, kitty cat. Hit the trail, tiny snail. Gonna scram. Little lamb, can't stay, blue jay. Have to bail, big blue whale. Bye for now, big brown cow.